I think the temperature has already been set with the uh, Rancis Bartholomew fight. So I'm expecting for Christmas to come early for the Polish and for Adam Kwanowski and for him to get a gift decision. Unfortunately, that's how boxing is, but he should lose this fight. Seven rounds to three, six rounds to four generously. Let me mute this. I am T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. This would be his first win. Look, beat up again. Now, he's turned down a lucrative payday to fight Derek Chisora. Instead, they made Derek Chisora versus El Kubred Pulev. Me personally, um, whenever I hear of an Eddie Hearn or a matchroom fighter trying to fight a PBC fighter, I just know it ain't going to happen. Now, allegedly, the rumors are that Adam Kwanowski has signed a new three-fight deal with PBC. And this was supposed to be like his comeback fight. By the way, he has weighed in at nearly a career low. He just, now he came out normally, you know, like he normally does, like a bat out of hell in uh, round number one and two but then slowed down tremendously in round number three. And you can even see in the punch stats where Demarezin just started turning it up on him and turned the tables on him. Now, he hasn't won since he fought Chris Ariola back in 2019, and that's not really saying much. No disrespect to Chris Ariola, the nightmare, one of my uh, favorite heavyweights. But overall, dude just don't got it. And the crazy thing is, look, look what he weighed in at. 251. I thought they said 241 yesterday, but 251, you know, compared to the 266, you know, 265 between. Oh, by the way, here's the punch stats. And look, he got outthrown by Demarezin. But listen, let's listen to the cards. I can't wait to listen in. 915 landed, um, thrown by Demarezin. 256 landed, 276 landed, 851 uh, thrown. But hopefully they won't rob this man. Let's listen in. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. I don't know what Kwanowski needs to do, really. Conditioning some more, I guess. There's no way he should have lost to this dude. But at the same time, I was never really high on him. Remember, he turned in an Anthony Joshua fight back in 2019. Because it was, he was only going to have, what, about a five-week or so camp? But then he ended up weighing in you know, damn near career high, you know, for Chris Ariola. In fact, that was the highest he had ever weighed in. And then pretty much the same thing for the first Robert Herlinius fight. But that would have been life-changing money, especially when you look at what, you know, Andy Ruiz was able to go in there to do on the same amount of short notice, even though Andy Ruiz is, is, is, a few levels above Adam Kwanowski in my opinion, but I don't know what he can do. You know, if he don't get a gift, I mean, it's over even if he does get the gift. Remember, he, we're here live real time. Take your time out, like the video, subscribe if you haven't. <clears throat> We've been covering every, ooh, let's listen in. They're back. Brooklyn, Adam Kobnatsky, Ariel let's Aaron, listen in. Ali Aaron de Marizin have gone the 10 round distance. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. to find out who won. You think it's time for Adam's gift? After 10 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside, Mark Constantino scores about 96 to 94. Judges Martha Tremblay and Steve Weisfeld both score them out 97 to 93. All three in favor of the winner, the Iceman, Ali Aaron Demerison. Right now, Ali Aaron Demerison has just recorded the biggest win of his career, has won six straight fights. The right man won. I'm glad they ain't robbed that brother, man. Let's listen to the um, interviews. Adam Kwanowski should fire everyone on his team. Everybody. Let's go to Jim Gray. Well, thank you again, Mauro. Here we go. Arta Curzon will translate for us. Congratulations, Ali Aaron, on this fight. 
Uh, how would you describe this victory? Uh, Ali öncelikle tebrik ediyorlar seni. Bu galibiyeti nasıl yorumluyorsun? Selamun aleyküm. Selamun aleyküm. Say hi. Güzel. New York'ta olmaktan ve Amerika'da olmaktan dolayı çok mutlu olduğumu söylemiştim. Amerika'da dövüşmekten büyük bir zevk alıyorum. Burada kalıcı olacağımı söylemiştim. İnşallah Showtime ekranlarında, PBC gecelerinde artık Ali Eren Demirezen'i sıkla göreceksiniz. I, I told you before I love fighting in United States and I love New York. So I told before that you will see me more. And inshallah you will see me more in Showtime and PBC. Your right hand was very effective, but how did you withstand the onslaught and the volume of punches that Adam throws? Uh, his right hand, right? Sağ elin çok güçlü. Onu gördük diyor. Fakat Adam'ın punchlarına karşı, onun yumruklarına karşı nasıl ayanlanıyor? Adam çok güçlü bir rakip, çok tecrübeli, benden çok e, tecrübeli. Bu Barclay Center'ın atmosferini daha önce tatmış bir sporcu. Ben ilk defa burada dövüşüyorum. Çok büyük bir organizasyon. Yani dediğim gibi biraz heyecan var. Ama inşallah bir dahaki maçtan da bu heyecanı atacağız. I'm, I'm a bit nervous. He's a definitely strong fighter. And I could be much better, but it's my first time here. He fought that before here. Final question. How big is this for your career? Bu galibet senin kariyerinde ne kadar büyük bir önem taşıyor şu an? Dünya şampiyonluğu yolunda bir basamak daha atladım. Another step on the way to world champion. Congratulations. Congratulations, Ali. Adam, if we can have a moment with you, thank you. Just a moment. Adam. Tremendous fight like you always put on. Uh, what's your feeling on the decision? A little rusty. <laughs> I think he was off first in, uh, in the exchanges a little bit. Uh, caught a lot of shots, didn't sit down as much. You know, it's, I think the ring rust being out, of, out for so long definitely played a part. You seemed to jump out to a real quick start. Was it, was it simply a matter of not being able to continue uh, at that pace, even though you threw so many punches? Yeah, I think I was out for the other ring since uh, last October. Uh, camp was good, but uh, no, I don't know. I gotta rewatch. I did it. I it was. Uh, I wasn't first. I think that, that was a major key. I let him get off first. It's really to counter him. And I wasn't really moving my feet. I wasn't going to run on the punches. Went back to the old me instead of uh, doing like I did the first uh, three rounds, which he said were very good. Final thought, Adam. It was your own assessment before the fight where you said, "If I don't win this fight, I lose it all." Is that mean that you probably won't continue your career? I have two great kids, uh, Kaz and Teddy. I'm having a long talk with my wife, see what we want to do. I mean, uh, so many great memories in this building, you know? Uh, definitely don't want to go out like this as a fucking loser. It's a curse, right? <laughs> but yeah, so definitely uh, I would like to have maybe one more fight and uh, leave my fans with a win, you know? You've given us all a lot of thrills, and the fans here in Brooklyn and across the world uh, really appreciate your effort. Thank you, Adam. Thank you so much. Moro, back to you. Damn. You know, like, you know, at top level or even mid-level, he kind of cooked. Was he even ranked? I mean, he kind of went life and death with Chris Arioli even. Lost, like, revived um robert helenius career here's the uh cards by the way and now he lose to demarezin you know so the question is you know like who does he fight you think he should take that tresor fight now Phew. maybe him versus lucas brown he'll probably fuck around and beat him you know Frank Sanchez, maybe? Or do you think, like, you know, he's ready to call it quits? But yeah, bro, that's it for me. Like, you know, he, he ain't on a high level for me. That's it. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe and teach through controversy. What up, 5v360?